So the giraffe situation right now, there's one species and nine subspecies. And it's a little bit odd because there are two species that are increasing in number, but there's fewer than 1,500 of the mature individuals. Um, and they're increasing because they already pretty much got rid of lion predators and there's no poaching of those two giraffes. Then there's two subspecies that are increasing and those are in South Africa and Namibia. And their argument is they're increasing because the, ha they have controlled ranches and farms and the hunting is helping conservation. Most of those giraffes are on private game ranches and farms. The giraffes in nature are not. So they're more subject to killing. Now the giraffe, there's two species that are critically in danger, two subspecies. Um, one of them, there's only about 450 individuals. My son had more than that in his graduating class in high school. The major reason for coming here was because I wanted to do whatever I could to stop the illegal trade in body parts of giraffe. People don't think that giraffe are poached that often because they don't have horns like rhino or tusks like elephants, but they are killed for bushmeat, they're killed for their bones, they're killed for their skin, and those parts are then sent outside of the host countries around the world, and it's one of the causes for giraffes to be in trouble. I was invited by one of the sponsors of the proposal to list giraffes on Appendix 2 of CITES as a giraffe expert to give my opinion. And in my opinion, Appendix 2 of CITES is the right place for giraffe because it'll help stop their path towards its extinction. Then the vote came and about 83% of the countries voted in favor of listing the giraffes. And that was mind blowing because I thought all along it was gonna be closer. And you try to keep track of who's voting and what's going, and there's a bunch of non-committals, and sometimes people will say yes and actually vote no. But at the end of the day, when the vote came and when it was announced, I have to do a double take and say, wow, this is, this is really cool, this is really something. Because I did what I could, and it worked. I think the major reason for the massive success is because one of the primary arguments that we made to support them is that the benefits far outweigh the costs. There's absolutely no real cost to list, listing them on Appendix 2 of CITES. The major point that people were making was it might harm the hunting industry because they can hunt and this has no impact on hunting at all and that it's not a major threat like landscape changes or anything along those lines, but to be listed on Appendix 2, it doesn't have to result in huge amounts of giraffe dying left, right, and in between. So the bottom line is people realize that to save the giraffes, they should go on Appendix 2. It's beneficial, there's no cost. I am absolutely thrilled with the way the vote went. It's a massive group of countries saying, we really want to work with you to save the giraffes and stop the illegal trade in giraffe parts. That's phenomenal. So the key advantage of Appendix 2 is that the countries now have agreed that they're going to monitor the transboundary movement of giraffe parts. So. If a giraffe is killed in country X illegally and the bones are shipped to South Africa, hidden with illegally killed giraffes and gone to the United States, right now nothing happens. They're smuggled in. The country of origin, you're not sure. With Appendix 2, that shouldn't happen because when the bones go across the border, there's a paper trail so they know how many are going across and where they're coming from. And if they're coming from an endangered subspecies, it can't be processed. The hope is that they never go from Appendix 2 to Appendix 1 because it means they're more in danger. Actually, the best thing to happen would be they would recover and they would be removed from Appendix 2. The best thing is if they would be removed from the endangered species list. 
But until then, we just have to keep fighting to save them in every way possible. Every little bit helps. And this is one little piece that will help them out.